Now that we have XAMPP successfully installed and the Joomla installation ready to go, we need to work on creating ourselves a database. So in order to do that, it's fairly simple. We need to simply go to our local host. And once we're in our local host, if you look on the top right corner of your main menu, you'll see a PHP My Admin tab. You simply click on that button and it'll take us to the PHP My Admin section. I know that this section itself could look pretty intimidating for a newcomer, so I'm going to spend as limited time as I can in this back end and only show you the bare, essential, the bare essentials itself and try not to get too carried away with all the different things that you can do. So the first thing you'll notice is on the left hand side here we have databases that come as a default with XAMPP's installation itself. What we want to do right now is we want to create a new database. So we're going to click on databases and we're going to name it website db and we're going to create it. Okay, now you'll notice on the left hand side here the website db database is showing. You can also see that you're in the database because it shows it right on top here next to the server. Okay, if you by mistake click somewhere you're not supposed to and things move around and you get a bit scared, don't worry about it. All you need to do is navigate yourself to the left hand panel here, close whatever shouldn't be open and make sure you select the database itself. Okay, now that the database has been been created, that's all you need to do right now. Okay, we're going to use the MySQL database, which comes with the standard username, but no password. Okay, this is only because we're doing a offline training session per se, and we're not using an actual web host. If you're doing this live online, you would want to create a specific database username and password and give access to permissions and all that but again this is for the absolute beginners so I'm not going to go into that right now we're just going to go ahead and continue with our Joomla installation so we yeah we have the option of giving our website its name so we're just going to go and call it my website and we're going to give it a description and let's just keep it basic my first website okay this description is used as metadata for your website so it's important that you can that you put this in at the beginning but if you missed it don't worry you can always change it in the back end at a later stage secondly we need to add our email address I'm gonna just add the standard email address that I would admin at mywebsite.com and now we get to choose our username okay when I'm creating these videos I normally stick with the same sort of settings so the administrator username I would use is admin and the password itself is admin007 and I'm gonna go ahead and confirm it again this is purely for practice uh, reasons if you were doing this live with the actual web posting company you'd want your password as well as your username to be a lot more intense you'd want to have at symbols and uppercases and numbers and like 13 14 character passwords all right that's very important to remember so once we set that up you can also change your language if English is not your default home language you can change that and Joomla will readjust everything in the right in the rightly translated um, text okay so let's click next and yeah we set up our database so you need to make sure that our database connection is MySQLi, has to be that. Our host name is of course localhost. Okay, and this is all wrong. This is remembered some old details. What you need to do for your MySQL database is you need to insert the username, which is root. And root, the username root does not come with a password. Okay, so you can leave the password blank and now we need to connect it to the database we created which is website db table prefix will randomize you can leave that as it is and you choose next and 
and there you have it it's successfully connected to the database itself if you scroll down here there's a bit of information that you can sort of see your main configuration your details are there your database configuration info is there and then just like a pre-install check and all that you know so this is all gonna probably look exactly like mine which is fine that means you've got the right version of my of um, mysql installed php and all that which you would if you're using the zamp that i've used so uh, you will have no issues there and then right here we have our finalization process okay so now this is quite interesting and this is something i'll probably cover a bit more in the um, bonus section of this video series where we can choose to have a fresh install a complete native installation or we can choose to install Joomla with some default dummy content whereas you can just edit from there okay but I'm not going to get involved with this right now again I've showed you how to make multiple websites so you can just create five quick extractions and install Joomla with every single one of these and you can just have a look at it just make sure you create us a new database for every one of these websites and you can install them and you can just see what it looks like okay so let's just go on now with installation to finalize the, install the install and as you can see the progress bar is running now and it's starting to do the install it's currently sitting well it's currently backing up the old database tables that's fine I'm going to go ahead and wait for this installation to complete. I'm going to pause the video. If I encounter any problems, I will be sure to resume it and walk you through it. Okay, we are back. And as you can see, we're still having a problem installing Joomla. It's basically, it's just hanging here. So we need to make a couple of changes. This is a common thing that does happen in the installation. It most of you might just have done the installation clean without any problems for those of you that are having an issue with this I'm going to show you how to fix it I know as a newcomer it might be a bit daunting especially if you're starting a new project and it starts out like this but that's what I'm here for I'm here to help and teach you and don't be disheartened by this sort of problem I'm going to show you how to fix it it's fairly simple with a bit of guidance so all you need to do is you need to go to your XAMPP folder right on your C drive you need to go to your HT docs go to the website that you're working with and you need to find the installation folder SQL and then the MySQL folder once you're here you will see there's a Joomla.SQL file type and this is what we need to basically edit now what I do to edit my stuff is I use Sublime Text I use it for my programming but there's also a program called Notepad++ I have it on my desktop I've already installed it and here's the link to the website right over here and here's a quick screenshot of how the program looks and how you can use it it's also very user friendly and uh, quite popular for beginners and scripters to use okay so in order to just gain access to that I'm going to right click on it on the actual .sql and I'm going to go edit with notepad++ and I'm going to open up the window and yeah we have all the information that's in this specific file now what we want to do is we want to basically do a find option okay so we need to go control F okay and we're going to replace it okay we're going to replace a certain part of this script we want to find the ino.dv I have it here I'm just going to simply copy and paste it and we want to replace it with the following text okay so we're just going to go find what replace with I mean replace all and it's all been replaced 66 occurrences of it I'm gonna close it okay and in fact if you are watching closely you'll notice that the um, INO DB was actually right here engine equal INO DB it's it's completely changed to the new one so with that being done we're gonna save it okay we're gonna close it and we're gonna go back to our Joomla installation and we're going to refresh our page 
Uh, we're going to go through the process again real quick. I'm going to put in our password, the one I used, admin007. I'm sure you remember everything would still remain in this um, section pre-filled in. If not, remember it's it's exactly as my screen. Local host name is localhost. We've got our root. Password is blank and we have our database name that we created. We go next. I'm going to leave the the sample data off. I'm going to just install the default data. I'm going to go ahead and click install and I'm going to wait again for the process to complete. The installation has begun so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to return once the install is finished and if there's any errors again we'll go through it together. Wow so as I actually pause the video the installation completed that's how fast it should be and that's how you do it. Okay, so just remember guys, this is the fix for that problem that you might have. Um, if you know anyone having an issue installing Joomla, be sure to show them this video series, or th at least this video, because this is the fix for that issue. If you for some reason are having any other different type of problem, do not hesitate to let me know. I'll be happy to help where I can. Okay, so once the installation is completed, you're going to get a nice congratulations message here and it's basically going to say in order to begin now we need to or to continue you need to remove the Joomla installation process and you can do that simply by going to the website and just deleting the install file here or you can just use the web based application and go remove installation file once that's done we can either access the site from the front end or the back end let's have a look at the front end of the site see how it looks and there you have it my website you finally have your site installed running on your computer you can follow these steps and you can have multiple sites up and running and from here the fun and games begin in the next video I'm gonna show you how to log into your administrative details and I'm also going to show you how to do a, just a couple of quick settings and just walk you around the back end it's gonna be real brief but it's gonna be really helpful and with the information you get from that, you should have more than enough needed to actually get started and working with the back end of Joomla and exploring from there. I'll see you guys soon.